With that down and out of the way, let's move on to the final main topic today. Chris, what is our final main topic today? This is coming from Terry G, who writes, I've been a big Dave Bautista fan ever since the WWE days, and I loved him in Guardians. Anyway, I was just wondering if you saw him casting a bunch of shade at the Fast and Furious franchise on social media. To me, I think he's totally justified in his comments, but right or wrong, isn't it a little risky to be throwing around insults at other film franchises when he's just trying to get big himself in the business? What say you all? So, what say you all? Yeah, I... Okay, so for those of you who know what's going on, Dave Batista, who let me set the groundwork for this, I love Dave Batista. I get a big kick out of I get I find him very entertaining when he's on screen. He is limited as an actor, but when he's used within that range that he's in, and by the way, over the last few years, his range is expanding. But when he's used properly by a director in the right way, he can be incredibly fun to watch on screen. And I'm really looking forward to Uber. And you could never, Stuber, I should say, you could never ask to meet a nicer, more humble guy in the business than Dave Batista off camera. I've had the opportunity to meet with him a few times. He's just one of the most genuine, pleasant to be, pleasant to be around guys I've ever seen in this business. I love this dude. I cheer every time I see him getting any sort of success. Hell, getting cast in Blade Runner 2049, getting cast in Dune. What? This is great. I'm so happy for this guy. That said, that said, you know, I can love a family member of mine or my best friend. If my best friend does something stupid, I'm going to say, buddy, what you just did was stupid. I'm still your best friend, but what you just did was stupid. What Dave Batista just did was stupid. There, there's no way around it. And I'm not going to let the fact that I'm a huge fan of his shade that from, from the reality that he just did something incredibly dumb. Really, really dumb. Now, for those of you who don't know what's going on here, Dave Batista was basically asked, you know, with somebody got on social media and basically the suggestion was, hey, with John Cena going to be in the Fast and Furious, what if you set up a John Cena and Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Fast and Furious spinoff and like a villain like a Dave Batista? Wouldn't that be great? That's fun. That's, that's a kind, nice thing to say. Dave Batista decided to respond to this, though. And this is what Dave Batista said. He said the following. Uh, of course, the, the original message to him was uh, The Rock and John Cena will get a Fast and Furious spinoff also, and Dave Batista will be the villain. And Dave decided to put a sick face and say, uh, thank you for your consideration with a vomit symbol and then a hashtag, I'd rather do good films. Now, this piggybacks off of a comment that a lot of people just decided to overlook that he made a couple of months ago. We all kind of just skimmed over this. That, oh, that was a little iffy to say. But a couple of months ago, he made this comment. This is, uh, I, I think, during a Blade Runner press stuff, but he said, I want good roles. I don't care about Fast and the Furious or Bumblebee. That's not the kind of stardom I want. I want to be in Dune. I want to work with Denis Villeneuve. I want to work with Sam Mendes and Jodie Foster. I want to work with Academy Award winners. I'm proud to be a character actor. I want that respect and credibility and education. All right. Dwayne, or as I should say, Dave. You want an education? I'll give you an education. Shut up. Shut up. Just sh you, you ever see that, you know, Step Brothers, that scene in Step Brothers where they're wearing the tuxedos and they're trying to interview with the lady at the same time she's trying to correct them on how they're saying, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're making yourself sound stupid. Shut up, Dave Batista. Shut up. You're making yourself sound stupid. And I say that in love because I'm a huge fan. Shut up. This is a stupid stupid thing to do you are still i un, i know you got dune coming out i know you got stuber coming out which i cannot wait to see it looks hilarious i know you got that what a spy girly thing that other thing that looks like it's going to be charming and great too but you are still on a lower rung in hollywood right now trying to move your way up and it is not only stupid to come out for no reason and unprovoked to start trash talking other professionals in this business who are just going out making their films Films that, by the way, a hell of a lot of people love and adore and cherish. And for you, unprovoked, to come out here and just start spewing trash talk on them is an inc probably the dumbest thing you've ever done. I thought it was great when you stood up to Disney for your friend James Gunn. I thought it was great that you did that. You were willing to say, I'm willing to sacrifice my career right now. I'm willing to walk away from this right now because it's the right thing to do to stand up for James Gunn. I appreciated that and I respected that. You were willing to throw your career away for that. But this is not the same thing. And there may be people right now who are tempted to say, 
well, I don't like the Fast and Furious movies, so I support what he said. No, it's still stupid. It doesn't matter if the Fast and Furious movies were the worst pieces of garbage ever made in the history of Hollywood. You got to understand what the business is you're in. And besides all that, Dave is an incredibly classy guy. For him to unprovoked just come out and start casting stuff around like this is completely unclassy, let alone the fact that it's stupid. And why burn bridges you don't have to burn? And great, right now, Dave, you get to work with guys like Denis Villeneuve and you get to be in a Dune. But it wasn't that long ago that you were doing Escape Plan 2 with Sly Stallone and whatever. It just, I cannot fathom for the life of me that a guy who has been so level-headed about where he is in his career for so many years can suddenly come out for no reason, for no reason at all, and trash talk Vin Diesel's property, trash talk one of the most successful film franchises ever, trash talk basically a John Cena, another guy who's in the same position that he is in trying to move from professional wrestling into an acting career. I don't want to do Fast and the Furious and Bumblebee. Bumblebee was a freaking great movie, by the way. This is unimaginable. Rob, the only thing, the only thing that I, as a guy who desperately loves Dave Batista, can think would possibly make sense of any of this. If this is all trolling and we're, we find out in three months Dave Batista is indeed going to be in a Fast and the Furious movie and he's just setting something up. I'm not saying that's what's happening. But if it did, that would be brilliant and it would explain all of this and put it all in a good light. But I, I got to say, Rob, I, I think this is an absolutely moronic, brain dead thing for this guy to do at this point. A guy who's got who is on such a roll right now, a guy who's building a lot of goodwill in this business, a guy who's increasing the profile of his name and a guy who is achieving his dream of actually being considered a legit guy to put in your movies, not just a novelty that James Gunn started with. You know what I mean? I just, I can't imagine what's going through his head to do and say something this stupid. Anyway, I've gone off on that long enough. Rob, <laughs> you hear this whole situation. What do you make of it? I think you just said it. I think he was trolling. I think he's got, I, stu right. I think he's got Stuber coming out. I think it's the use of emoticons that pretty much sold. When I read this, you know, I love the Fast and the Furious franchise, by the way, Justice for Han. And I, I think <laughs> that, uh, uh, if he didn't use those emoticons, the vomit emoticons, I would have been like, oh, he's being a dick. But those emoticons are kind of funny. Now, he's got Stuber coming out. It's in theaters very soon. He's talking about two men. He didn't say for the friend. He talked about two guys that are wrestlers, just right. like he's a wrestler. So he was addressing them directly. He wasn't dis disparaging necessarily the Fast and the Furious franchise and... I think you might be right. I think there's going to be an, an announcement made that he is probably going to show up in one of these movies. I think that's exactly what he's doing. He knows how social media works. He saw what happened with James Gunn. I think he's having fun. He's a really smart guy. And like his comments earlier, when he talked about, look, I, I understand he was, I, I don't know the context of that first interview, but I'm sure he was asked as a former wrestler. Now you've got Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, and you've got John Cena, who are now part of huge box office franchises, and their clout in Hollywood is rising. I'm sure he was asked that, and I'll bet that even that first response was true, because he's working with great people, but it's like this idea that, oh, wrestlers, who are, by the way, performers as well, that they somehow are unworthy of Hollywood success. I mean, Dave Bautista strikes me as somebody, he works his ass off to get where he is. And I think that that we will find out in the future that he was having a bit of fun. I hope you're, because that's the only theory I've got at this point, because it just, there's nothing else he to knows me what he's doing. that makes logical sense. This guy is humble. Every time I've, like, seriously, every time I've met with Dave Batista, the overwhelming thing, I'll never forget the, the first time I actually got to sit down with him was during a press junket for Man with the Iron Fists. Remember that, directed by Ariza? Anyway, I had a chance to sit down with him at this bar and he like it was one of the best conversations I've ever heard from a guy who's a Hollywood star now in movies. And he was just like, listen, I know I'm not the greatest actor in the world and I know how lucky I am that I get these opportunities to come in here and learn from people and grow. And it was just one of the most refreshing things. And then when I met with him when he was doing Bond, again, he, he's, he's just like saying, dude, I look in the mirror. I'm like, I, I'm... He's looking in the mirror, I'm in a James Bond movie. 
I am in a James Bond movie. Like, you've never met a humbler, nicer, sweet guy in this business than Dave Batista. And I've loved every chance. And he did our, um, when we did our 24 hour uh, 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 hurricane typhoon relief uh, marathon, he was the first guy to jump up and say, Yeah, I'll contribute. I'll jump on and send in a video for it and give a, a, a greeting to everybody. I mean, he's just that type of guy. So, him saying stuff like this, it just doesn't compute. It doesn't add up in my head. So there's only two options. One, he's lost his damn mind. And, and and maybe in the last year or two, he's getting some success and he's just become that idiot that's just let success go to his head. Or the other option that I'm really hoping for is he is trolling us all for in a big WWE style. And at some point, he's going to drop this wow bomb on us that he is indeed actually going to be a villain faster. That's the only thing to me that's going to make any of this make Look any sense. Look who's in his tweets. Look who those are going to. Those are guys that he's known for years, and they probably love him too. I bet they're laughing their asses off. Well, anyway, Chris, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. As somebody who is known online for having you know a lot of Twitter feuds and being very discouraging and disparaging of other people's work, I'm just kidding, by the way. Uh, but you see this, <laughs> you see me. this, you see this drama unfolding. What what's your first take on it? Yeah. Well, first of all, there is evidence to back up y'all's trolling theory because he tweeted back at someone who was talking about the Escape Plan Two films, saying, "I never said I did a bad film. I'm saying that that helped me build an acting career." And right, even once, I never said I never did yeah, a bad film. Right, right. Yeah. And then goes so far as to say acting in quotations. Right. So I think that also hopefully means that he's being playful. But I I'm going to be so Southern about this. You get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. And <laughs> you really have to be careful about what you say when you're in this industry. I'm not going to be insane and pretend I'm on any echelon that's close to that. I voiced cats and topical creams. But <laughs> I've gotten jobs not because I out Meryl Streeped everybody, but because I was point blank told I was nice and someone could deal with being a around me for 12 hours. Is that what got you the uh, the role in the Yu-Gi-Oh animation? What? Oh, in Ungo. Yeah. My, that one, I got a guy drunk when I was a bartender, and he was like, come do an audition for me. And then I did 12 <laughs> animes with him. That's it was funny. great. That's how you got this that's job. That's how I got this job. job. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. I was like, hey, John, have a drink. Um, <laughs> and I don't even drink. Exactly. It didn't work out well. I just got drunk and then was like, let me be <laughs> on your show. But I think you have to be really, really cognizant of that stuff. And, you know, when I have to do reviews of other, th other things, I have been pressured to drag vocal casts, to drag casts casting directors and directors. And one, I'm not going to do that because it's a hard job. Being in a booth is hard. Being on camera is hard. It's a really tricky job that everyone thinks they can do, but there's a reason only a few people do it. There's a reason why we have a handful of really talented people in these big franchises and doing well. And I also don't want to screw up my opportunity to blow a job interview and be like, oh, yeah. yeah, that voice cast just sucked hard and then make it seem like I'm being salty and I think I'm better than other people. So if he is doing this and starting Twitter feuds just to be kind of an ass and feel good about himself, that's a horrible move. So uh, fingers crossed he is trolling. Yeah. So anyway, what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's just all gone to his head and now he's become suddenly very stupid? Or do you think maybe like Rob's theory that this is all a trolls thing, setting something up, this is a little bit of WWE showmanship coming down the line. What do you guys make of all this? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, listen.